Welcome to Conversations, where your host, Carl Kozowski, talks with the world's most interesting people. And now, this week's Conversation. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to another edition of Conversations, where we bring you some of the most interesting people from the worlds of pop culture, politics, and beyond. Coming to you from the luxurious studios of Radio Titans in Los Angeles, I'm your host, Carl Kozlowski. Today, I'm really excited to be bringing somebody who's an iconic actress in American television history. She was the, the amazing Mrs. C., a.k.a. Mrs. Cunningham, on Happy Days for 11 seasons and has went on to do numerous other parts that were much beloved across her career both before and after that. And now she's out with her new book, a memoir, called My Days, Happy and Otherwise, and she'll be appearing with it at Roman's Bookstore later this month. Please welcome Marion Ross. How did you decide it was time to come out with this book? Well, I, I'm really excited about the book, you know. My, it's My Days, Happy and... Uh... Otherwise, you know, so that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, that's great. So what inspired you to want to do it? Oh, I, I didn't want to do it at all, but the, my son, uh, my son Jim Meskimen brought this man to my house, an author, and he said, we're going to write this book, Mother. And I said, I don't think so. And then the next thing I know, we're, we're doing it. So he would come to the house and get me talking. So... <clears throat> It's as simple as that. And now I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm very grown up. I'm. Do you know how old I am? I'm awfully old. No, I would never even dream to ask. <laughs> well, you know, I am 89. How, how can that be? Wow. How can that be? Because wow. I'm I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm in pretty good shape. What was your favorite memory of the book? Uh, to do with Happy Days, perhaps? Of course, Happy Days. But you know, I love. I love thinking about myself when I was young, uh, you know, like when I was about 13 years old, and I live in, in Minnesota, and I had such a drive to become somebody, you know, and I just, I wanted to become an actress. And to me, it's extraordinary that I did it. You know, I did it. Yeah, that's great. What's your favorite memory in the book from Happy Days years? You know, one of the fun things for us is we had a softball team. And Gary Marshall was first base, and he liked to have, he made a team out of all of us. And all the boys were very, very good athletes. And they trained the Fonz, they trained Henry Winkler to be a pitcher. And he'd never played much baseball as a kid. So that but that softball team took us all over the United States. We played before we, you know, before big league games. We would play uh, the the media people, you know, all the TV people sure. before the game, and it was a great it was a great way to keep us together and make a, a, a family out of us. So over the years, what do you think? has been the appeal of Happy Days lasting so long. I think it was the Fonz, don't you think so? Oh, sure. The Fonz absolutely took off. And also, in those days, we didn't have so many TV shows. The kids would all watch on Tuesday night, uh, watch Happy Days. Then they'd go to school, and then they'd all talk about it the next day. Now, there's so much competition. Uh, I don't know. So we lasted... Uh, we lasted 11 seasons. I could. I saw the boys uh, grow up, get married, have children, buy homes. You know, it was. They lived their whole early life on happy days. With Mrs. C, what was the charm of your character? I mean, was she well written when you started, or was it something that you uh, kind of de- got to develop through a lot of? Uh, your own touches over the years. Well, I think uh, because when when the when the show started, uh, the mother was very unimportant. You know, I had very small part. So, what I would when we did the table read, I would they would say, "Marion, read all these other parts. Read these girls. Read read these parts." So I was constantly auditioning for those writers and showing them what I could do, and my part just kept getting better and better and better. 
So my advice to you young actors, don't be pouting in the corner about that you don't have enough lines. Keep auditioning for those writers. Convince them. So do you have any favorite memories of Erin Moran, who played Joni, your daughter? She passed away tragically last year. You know, I'm glad you mentioned Erin, because that's, that's a tragedy, uh, and that's a tragedy that happens in our business. You, you want to be very careful uh, about going into show business if you don't have a lot of guidance. And she didn't have enough uh, guidance at home. She kind of thought we were her parents, but we weren't. We weren't, you know. So but poor, she got, she got led astray. And, you know, I'm going to a big party this weekend for Ron, Ron Howard and his daughter, Bryce, oh. are, are having a big uh, birthday party for the two of them. Oh. And, all, and I should be able to see everybody. Everybody will be there. Donnie Most and Anson Williams, and um, oh my gosh, and everybody, you know, yeah, yeah. it'll be so much fun. And Henry Winkler. Yeah, that's great. What's been the key to your success of lasting so long? I think it was a surprise to us that it caught on so well. In fact, at one point, they called all of us together and they said, "You've all got to cooperate. You've got to cooperate and do it the way it's written." You know, because he said. We have a hit on our hands. Yeah, <laughs> and then we all started to laugh. We have a hit on our hands. So from then on, we, we didn't know it was going to go 11 seasons, you know. Was there any resentment on Happy Days from anybody towards, say, Henry Winkler? Sometimes on shows when there's like one breakout star from an ensemble, you hear that there's a lot of tension or difficulties on the set. Right, and not, and not only that, they wanted to take the Fonz out of the family and give him his own show. Oh, my gosh. And pro- probably just call it Fonzie or something. And he said, no, I want to stay in the family. And that's, that's why that all worked so well. So, wow. uh, And then Ron Howard, his, they had a contract where whatever... The Fonz got paid. Ron got paid. So uh-huh. he, uh, well, that, so was... that made it more so, so that Ron didn't feel he had to leave. So what's been the key to your success lasting so long? Well, you know, I went on. I did uh, several series after that. <clears throat> I played Drew Carey's mother on the Drew Carey show. And then I did a series called Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. And, and here I was, Scottish, um, you know, Irish-Scottish girl, and playing a Jewish grandmother. I was very, very proud of that, very proud of that. So uh, I've, it's only now that I've just retired because I'm 89. I'm 89. Isn't that amazing? So I think I've done enough, don't you? <laughs> Probably, yeah. If somebody calls you with a great part, I mean, are you really done? Oh, I, that's right. Because sometimes, because now sometimes I say, I'll say, what is that line? What is that? What, how is that? And they said, well, it's very simple. I know, but I've forgotten it already. What is it? <laughs> so I think, I think I'm getting to be an older person. I act a little bit also, and I can't remember my lines at half your age. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and you know what, you know what's a blessing, a real blessing, is that I don't care. Isn't that nice? I don't care. I have such a wonderful life. You know, my daughter, let me tell you about my kids, because my, my daughter was a writer-producer on Friends. Huh? Really? How about that? Really? What was her name? Ellen. Ellen Kramer, her name is. Oh, and now she's creating a new pilot. For ABC. Oh, that's cool. And my son, Jim Meskimen, his last name is Meskimen. He, you'll, you'll see him. He's got a commercial running. I think it may be almost over now, but he, for Geico, and he's playing George Washington, and they're dragging him across oh. the freeway in a boat. Have you seen that commercial? Yeah. That, well, that's my, that's my son, Jim, and so. The whole family, here we are. Is there a part that got away from you that you wish you had gotten? You know, I don't, um, I've, lived, I've lived a very careful life, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wasn't that a good idea? I would watch. I was under contract to Paramount by the time I was like 22. Can you imagine? And I would watch hmm, some of the other girls, and I'd think, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You know, so I led a careful life. So was there any role that you wish you had gotten, or is there a role that you have that uh, you really love but you wish the public had been able to notice or appreciate more? Well, I think I, I love being on Brooklyn Bridge. I love that. Uh, and I had to have an accent. Uh, I had to be Jewish. I, I mean, it was. I just loved it. I just loved it. So, And I was always doing research and... Uh, 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 so if you're if you're lucky enough and and you keep adaptable you've got to keep adaptable and changing with your age as you get older there's a very interesting parts that you can play and to be um be a be an, a character actress you know those are the interesting roles <laughs> you got that right but I want to encourage everybody to check out uh, your fantastic book, My Days, Happy and Otherwise, available at bookstores and on Amazon and everywhere else that you can find books. Thanks for taking the time, Mary. Well, I enjoyed talking to you very much, darling.